Welcome back, everybody, to another episode. A new episode, that is. Of Let's Talk Toku. Why are you wearing sunglasses? I am. Hi, I'm Steve Sakai. I'm back. That was weird. Anyway, I'm Squall <laughs> Charlson, and welcome to another rousing episode of Let's Talk Toku. Steven. Yeah. It's good having you on the show. Not necessarily like sitting across from me, but just like working on the show. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Has been pretty, inf- it's been pretty good, you know? Yeah. I don't Did know. Did you what- almost say influential? No, I was going to say in- instrumental. Oh, instrument. Oh. And then I realized that was too nice of a compliment, so I reeled it back in. <laughs> Like, I'm not allowed to get any compliments on set. Hey, your name's in the credits. That's all that counts. That's true. Um, but we've covered a bunch of episodes so far, and I feel the the next logical step, which is a big one when we're talking about Tokusatsu before we move on to some of the smaller kind of, I don't know, nitty gritty topics, is did you, did you look at the document? Did you see, did you do your research? I think so, yeah. It is the Toys of Tokusatsu! Oh. What? I thought this was I thought this was the Ameritoku one. No, we're gonna do that one next week. Oh, I don't I don't know anything about toys. N- like nothing? No, I at all. I didn't I never bought any. I I think you should go. That's that's probably for the for the best. I'm just gonna Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye so, guys. I've been fired. Can you um can you take your sign with you too? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry you all had to uh go through that. Um somebody who doesn't know anything about toys is probably not best suited for this episode. So if Steven can't be on the show, do we have oh, we we do have another guest ready? Okay, we do. Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> At least he's being punished for never buying or knowing anything about Tokusatsu toys. Right, Steven? Yeah. All right, again with this uh, this laptop bit. Who do we got today? Ah, oh, sweet, it's Team Ryder, everybody. Hi, my name is Anthony. Hello, everybody, my name's Steve. Hello, I'm uh, Ken. Hey, guys, my name is David. Awesome, it's so good to have you guys here. Team Ryder, everybody, in the house. Yeah! Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So if you guys don't know, we are doing an entire episode about the toys of Tokusatsu. So when you think of Tokusatsu, a lot of people sometimes think of the heroes, they think of, you know, like the shows themselves, but oftentimes, you know, Tokusatsu, it lives and dies by the toys that come from these shows. So before we get into all of that, before we get into just kind of all the little nitty gritty little fun things we want to do, I want you guys to explain to everybody who you are, how Team Rider kind of came about, and how you got into the Tokusatsu fandom. So, to kind of give you the story of how, how it all began, we had a internal meeting going on. I'm daydreaming a little bit, trying to like think long and hard about some of the data being shown to us. And I kind of talked to one of the big bosses afterward about some of the thoughts that I had. Went and started doing some crazy research, running around like a madman. And then when we started poking around, really trying to ask the fans for involvement, and I just want to say to all the fans, thank you so much for being so nice to us and helping us out, because through a lot of that involvement, a lot of the research, I was permitted to put together a team. That's how we got the first two guys here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. We started doing some presentations to guys that can uh, fire us if we screw up, which is kind of terrifying, just a little bit, you know? And then slowly but surely, we got the yeses from all the right people, and I got to bring in David, which is wonderful. And now the belts are flowing, and there's still a lot of work to be done, but I'm grateful to the fans for really working with us and embracing us. It's such a kind fandom compared to a lot of others that we deal with. Yes. So uh, for for any viewer at home that may be watching that isn't familiar with Team Rider, like I don't know if you guys don't have social media or what's going on, but can you explain to us what Team Rider is? What what uh, what are they doing in the fandom right now? So essentially, we when we I was told to put together a team, you know, we kind of I kind of joked with the guy who was explaining it to me of what I would get the uh, purview to do, and I kind of joked with him. I was like, all right, so it's, it's my team and it's Common Rider. I'm like, we're gonna be Team Rider. We've put it up in Katakana, you know, got shirts made, totally hammed it up, but it's been fun being able to speak about a team with an actual team classification that sits in 
in the fandom itself. And since then, it's just been according every division that has tokusatsu products, talking with them, trying to show them what the U.S. fans are like and that there is a market here for the product. And whenever we get that yes, we run as fast as we can to try and get it to market for everybody. So a lot of what we do is a lot of research, looking at market values of things, looking at forums, posts, fan sites, Facebook groups, wherever there's chatter, wherever there's visibility, even at conventions, people wearing belts. We took notes of, oh, I saw 20 decayed belts. I saw five five CSMs. Even to that level, any of the fans who talked to us, we kept notes from that and reported that outward. So that way people could see and understand like direct from the fans what's going on. So David handles a lot of all the brand communication. I do a lot of the running around and bothering Tamashi for things and research. Anthony and Ken also help out on the research front. They've been, they've been in this fandom a lot longer than I have. So their guidance on which fan sites to go talk to, which Facebook groups to jump into has been instrumental in bringing all this together. Mm -hmm. The hunt for all the toys, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my, my beginning in Tokusatsu actually started when I was a kid because I was really into Power Rangers. Yeah. You know, I remember when I was a little kid, they had a, a, a meet and greet for the Power Rangers at a mall out here in Southern California. And my parents took me to meet the Pink Ranger because I had a crush on her when I, when I was a little kid. So like that, like for me, that like, like I didn't know at the time that, that was called Tokusatsu because I was a child. Right. But uh, you know, like that, that's where I, you know, I, I started. Then I was lost in the Gundam world for 20 years. <laughs> but uh, you know, when we started doing the Team Rider stuff, you know, they said, hey, uh, who on this team is brave enough to, you know, tackle it? And I was like, all right, I'll try it. Then I finally listened to these guys. I started watching it, and then I started spending a whole lot of money. <laughs> it's kind of a slippery slope, you know? You, you start a little bit. Okay, so I've been to Japan a few times. The, yeah. the, the first two times I went, I, I was there primarily for Gundam. I was buying everything I could that was Gundam. And I, I would see the Kamen Rider stuff, but like I didn't really look at it too closely because I wasn't into it at the time. But then this last trip I went, after I had started watching Kamen Rider, it was like a whole new world. Like one of these, three of these. Like I went to Mondorake and like in our group chat, I started sending photos and everything. I was like, oh, there's so much stuff. And like, I had to go back to the store three times. I kept buying more stuff. They kept giving me bigger and bigger bags. And uh, the crazy thing was my suitcase broke in the airport because of how much stuff I tried to cram into it. You just hear like 30 toys go off at once. No, it, there was there was a lot, there's a lot of uh, a lot of noises happening. Right and I was like, "Ooh!" Thankfully, uh, the shot riser didn't go off because I don't I don't need that happening <laughs> in the airport. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's been awesome. Um, you know, I've been making my way through uh, the second half of Heisei. Uh Right now, I'm working my way through Ghost. Uh, then I'm going I'm sorry. to Hive. Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's. It's just rough. Oh, then after that, I'm going to drive, then oh, so then I will have finished the entirety of the second half of Heisei. Then I'm going to go back and start watching the older stuff. But it's it's been a, a crazy, expensive, fun time. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let, then, let's move on. Let's move on. So then uh, for me, I started back in 2006 when Kabuto was airing. Uh, and so then at that time, it was high school. I was, uh, yeah, I was in Drumline. And on like after school, I was trying to do, uh, I was trying to do drum covers, uh, and that led into me meeting some guys from the East Coast, uh, being able to chat with them online, be able to share uh, some of the love for Comrider, and be like, you know, we wanted to at least try to do our own little group with this. So it ended up being uh, just months to years of just this friendship, of just being able to talk about this, and then eventually end up leading into that downward slope of buying a lot of the toys. Uh, you know, some belts here and there, but mainly was uh, the action figures at that point. Uh, and then finally coming to working here, um, after, you know, culminating a lot of figures and such prior, uh, it just ended up barreling right into what we're doing right now. Uh, going from one group of friends to now just building this core group that we have right here, just to be able to share that with uh, everybody else through at least throughout the states and hopefully the rest of the world. That would be the dream, right? I, the dream. <laughs> I, thought, I thought for a second you were gonna say that you met some guys on Drumline and you guys like all did like Common Rider covers or like, something like that. That's where I thought it was going. So, well, no, so believe it or not, uh, I was I did I did a few covers for Kiva actually. Yes, yeah. 
So I did that, um, ended meeting with the guys online and just chatting with them. Um, and then after that, it was just, yeah, it was just only just talking to them, but just me doing the drum parts myself, while the other guys that I met with had their own little bits of their music that we wanted to try to work with uh, as well. But he, he did play a, a big part in Drumline for me as well. <laughs> I can see that. You guys should like get all together again and like recreate that scene from uh, Decade. <laughs> where they're all like playing rock band to destroy the monster. Oh, <laughs> oh the best scene in the series. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So for me, I would say the, the start was probably Godzilla and Ultraman in elementary school. I remember I used to watch the Godzilla movie marathon at Thanksgiving because I wasn't into sports and the rest of my family was watching the football games. So I'd be in my grandma's side room with the ancient TV watching Godzilla movies. And then when I was talking to a family friend, he mentioned Ultraman. I, I watched a few of the episodes. I was like, ah, not really my thing. Power Rangers launched, and I was like, wow, those girls are really cute. So that kind of got me watching for the yellow and pink Rangers. But I didn't really engage too much in Tokusatsu. Got heavily into Gundam and other anime. Right around college, as you know, pirating episodes becomes this huge thing, I was actually hunting down uh, Gundam X episodes, and I kept running into Kamen Rider stuff. And so I was just like, oh, why not? Let's see, maybe this is some cool anime. I'm like, no, this is live action. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Power Rangers. Whoa, this gets dark. Okay. <laughs> kind of kept it on the back burner. Always something that kind of in the back of my mind, like I want to revisit this when I can get all of it instead of just the odd end episode. Uh, a couple, I think it was two years ago, I finally told Anthony, I was like, Anthony, I think I'm going to stop being lazy and I'm going to start watching whole seasons. I got no excuse yeah, now. Yeah. So I dove in on Build and by about halfway through, I was like, I think this now owns my soul. Yeah. <laughs> so Ciao. I'm, along, I'm along for the ride. I've, I've got so many belts now, I'm starting to buy up SHF. It's, it's been fantastic to jump in and I'm kicking myself for not doing it sooner. I think I've gotten three fourths of the way through all of Heisei. Uh, I'd have to go through a list, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm almost there. I'm hoping by the end of this year to finish Heisei yeah. and then start dabbling back in some of the old Showa stuff that I've only seen clips of. But it's, it's been fantastic, and I'm glad to add this to my long growing list of things that I'm a fan of. Awesome, yeah. Thankfully, with uh, the Shout Factory, everything that they're doing right now, that will be a possibility to you in the very future. Um, well, that's good because easy access is always important. <laughs> right. Sure. The ability to support. Something. Yes, That'll support the fandom. I think, you know, if you kind of put that out there for any fan to like support, whether it just be like streaming or buying, you know, something from the. They're going to give it back, you know, even if it's not like this huge turnout that you want, like those fans that really do f appreciate these series are going to go out of their way to do it. Absolutely. Uh, for me, it's like David, uh, uh, as a kid watching Power Rangers, uh, that, that pretty much kind of started everything for me. Power Rangers, uh, Ultra Mantiga when it was here in the States, uh, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, also <laughs> a Gridman. I didn't know it was Gridman, but that, that was the name. Uh, I, I, yeah, I just remember watching them like, I don't know what this is, but this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, and then I remember one day, uh, this is like during high school when I was binge watching uh, all Power Rangers again, just because I was bored. Uh, summertime, right? As so, you do. Yeah, binge watching all Power Rangers, and then uh, on that same site they had um, they had uh, Come Rider Decade, and I'm like, what is this? This is not Power Rangers. So I watch it. I watch one episode. One episode turned into ten episodes, and then I finished the entire series. I'm like, that was awesome. I want more. So from Decade was my first series I watched, and that spiraled into. Uh, what I what I do now. That's crazy that Decade was your first series because that was my first Common Rider of a sense too, and I was so confused. <laughs> because... <laughs> well, that, I mean, well, when I started watching it, also I was confused, but I had an idea of what it was because I kind of translated that to Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. The nice thing for uh, for me, and I didn't even know it was uh, for that series, they dabbled into all all the other Heisei uh, writers, uh, you know, Kiva, the Fives, and so on. Um, and then obviously Kuga, uh, and I, I'm glad that that was my first one because then that made me uh, want to go uh, seek out these other writers as well. So I finished Decade, then I went to Kiva, then Deno, and then I had a small hiatus uh, from from Com Writer, 
But uh, the thing that brought me back was Kamen Rider O's. And then only recently also uh, I got back into it. And then uh, I started watching everything. I, f- I finished everything. When it comes to a lot of the stuff that you want to get from these shows, like whether it be Kamen Rider, whether it be Sentai, anything in Tokusatsu, the toys are a fundamental part. Like these shows really are just 30 minute toy commercials when you boil it down. Yeah, they are. So before Team Rider, let's go to a very dark time in, <laughs> in history. Before, yeah. before Team Rider, there were so many sort of um, hurdles and like loopholes that you had to kind of exploit and jump through. Um, any fan that has tried to buy something from like Amazon JP, you know, or any of those other sites were met with like import fees, middleman, um, so many of those things. Like in your guys's sort of you know, collecting. Did you ever run into that? Is that kind of what helps influence what you do yes. today? No, well, David, for you recently. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I, I, well, with Gundam, you know, I always had, I always ran into that because in my area there wasn't many, uh, you know, places that sold gun, uh, Gunpla when I was growing up. So I had to go to like conventions or other places where the prices would be two and three times <laughs> what they should be. But as a kid, I didn't know any better. You know, I'm like, oh. It's my only option, you know. So like with Gundam, I've always had that. But when it comes to Common Rider, I I had that in in a, a pretty extreme way. So uh, Build was the first series that I watched, mm-hmm. and I really loved it. I was like, yo, I need that Build driver. And there was a store near us, uh, which will remain nameless, that I I went to and I found it. They had it, but it was like ninety nine dollars, and I was like, but I need it. So I bought it, right? <laughs> and I was happy, you know, like, cool, I bought it, you know, I didn't pay for shipping, awesome. But then like a month after that, I went to Japan and I started going to like Mandarake, uh, Surigaya, like, all the secondhand stores. And I started seeing these things brand new and what they really cost. And I was both super happy and then also super <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> like when I saw how much the bill driver goes for in Japan, I was like, yo, I could have got two belts for the price of one. Or you'll find something like like empty buckets just hang in there and get a gajillion oh. other drivers. Just... Dude, M- Mandarake in, in the, the, the aisle that had the DX stuff, yeah. I, I was there for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. I checked every single thing on there. I got all my favorite bottles. I got uh, I got one of the Pandora panels. I got basically every ride watch I ever wanted. Like, oh. It's like basically. the mecca for Tokusatsu fans. It, it really is. But like, I... I once I bought that bill driver and saw what it really should go for, that's when like the the mission for Team Rider, I internalized that. I'm like, no one should ever have to go through that <laughs> ever again. <laughs> was uh was the story you're talking about Anime Jungle? No. 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 Okay. Never mind. Because <laughs> they they have like a little Tokusatsu section over in uh, Little Tokyo, and I don't know. You guys have probably been there. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, we've, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I bought some lock seeds and uh, so in a gas app from them uh, a little while ago. They're close to my house, so that, that's actually a pretty cool store for me. I think on that note, for for my end, uh, like David, you know, buy something and then you finally realize, like, oh wow, it's ten times cheaper in Japan. I should have just bought it from Japan site or something. But uh, I think if as a fan, if you love that thing so much and you just you know, you, you don't care about the price point uh, or how long it takes because sometimes you'll buy something online and it'll take like, I don't know, a month for you to receive it. Yeah. If you love it, you'll you'll eventually forget about how much you pay for it. Because <laughs> I, I bought in figures um, that appreciated in value that, that were released, you know, uh, four or six years ago, a long time ago. And, uh, you know, they're expensive, but... Uh, because I love the series and genre, I I, I really don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but through Team Rider, knowing that we can now provide these types of products to, uh, to the U.S. market frequently uh, uh, and at an affordable price, right. you know, now I can kind of like hold back a little and say, you know, in time it'll eventually come our way. Yeah. Keyword is a little. A little when, you're, yeah, when, you're, yeah. when you're holding back. Exactly. Awesome. I think like the first thing Tokusatsu I ever bought was on eBay and it was like $80. It was the Zero Nose belt from Kamen Rider Deno. 
Oh, he, was, he was my favorite rider, and I'm like, I have to have this. I have to put it on because something something might happen. You never know. But, <laughs> and I I wouldn't give that up. You know, I would still spend eighty dollars, even though I was like a broke like sixteen year old. I was like, I needed this. You know. Yeah. My first belt was the O's driver, the DX one, seventy five bucks, seventy five bucks, and uh, I think it was like thirty five dollars for the Tajido, uh metal set. Mm. So a hundred dollars. Yeah. Hey, hey, if you need it, you need it. Like I've been waiting for a month for my Kachidoki arms, my Kiwami arms, lock seeds to get here. Yeah. And I'm a little salty because I'm watching that tracking and they ain't anywhere close to my house. They're going backwards, <laughs> if anything. Yeah. <laughs> I think for, for me, it, it started with the, the same group of friends that I met from the, the East Coast. Mm-hmm. And so uh, some of them were actually moving some of their collections. I actually uh, got a piece of that for a bit. Uh, but then spending countless time just on online sites, just slowly building that at that point. I had a, I told this story to David actually. I had a friend who actually would buy a ticket to Japan. Like he would just buy a plane ticket to Japan because there were um, one or two like places in the airport that sold common Rider stuff. And a lot of times they were like, you know, like past stuff. So they were really cheap. And he would just buy a suitcase there buy it and fill it up and then bring it back and then just sell it for like twice whatever he paid for and he'd be able to like pay for his ticket to Japan he'd be and he was just like damn it team rider <laughs> <laughs> well, well going back to, to David's store when he was over in Japan and he was he was uh, stopping by Mandaraki and all that uh, what, it was like 12-2 was, in the morning was, for, for, us, for so us yeah so he's sending pictures on our chat and then, like a few of us are just just on our phones right now, be like, "Hey, we're just gonna send you money yeah, right now." Yeah, yeah. Like, PayPal now. What's Dude, PayPal? It, was, it was crazy. So when, when I was over there, I, I was in a meeting with with Boys Toys, and as I'm in the meeting, I'm getting PayPal messages and and photos from these guys of what they want, and I show it to Boys Toys, and they're just cracking up. I'm like, "No, Team Rider is for real. Like they they love this stuff, you know." Yeah. I mean. Oh. I remember at Toys R Us, I think it was that photo, what was that Toys R Us? You, you, <laughs> sent, you sent the picture, I, I saved it, circled it myself, and sent it right back to you. <laughs> All right, everybody, don't go nowhere. We will be right back here with Team Rider, and we are going to have a fun little ooh, fun little game that we're going to put them through. I hope you guys are ready. So, okay. <laughs> so much pressure. The webcam just goes off. It's time to cheat. All right, guys, don't go nowhere. We will be right back with more Let's Talk Toku. We're talking about the toys. Yeah. See you guys there. Team Rider. Ooh. You got a little something going on behind you there. We have a fun game planned for you. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. I hope. I hope. (laughs) We are going to play the very first ever Let's Talk Toku. Price is yen? Is that what we decided on? The price is in yen. I'm Small Carlton, and we are going to play The Price is in Yen! <laughs> this is great. It's all right. <laughs> the next stage. What's the next stage? <laughs> all right, Team Rider. The rules are simple. We are going to show you a product, and we are going to give you a price in Japanese yen. Now, what you will need to do is, as a group, decide whether that price is higher or lower than what we give you for the retail price. Sound good? The first product for today is the Common Rider 01 DX01 driver. Now, Team Rider, do you think the price of that is 8,000 Japanese yen? Now, is it higher or lower? Ba- uh, base yen. Base yen. Yeah, yeah, and it's just the 01 driver. Yeah, it's less. Is it less? Yeah. Not for what it's going for in the market wait, wait, right now. Wait, it's actual MSRP? Yes. Or what the aftermarket sell it? Well, the actual MSRP is. Yeah. Oh. Lower. lower. Is it lower? Yeah, lower. I, I, just, I was just there. <laughs> <laughs> Low, yeah, okay, lower. 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 You were correct. It is lower at 7,600 Japanese yen. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> Are you ready for the next one? Let's take a look at the product. Our next product is in the Kamen Rider Zero One line as well. It is the DX Progress Key for Shining Hopper. Now, Team Rider, is the price of this Progress Key 2,200 Japanese yen? Higher or lower? <laughs> I, I think the ash price is higher, but... 22? I think it's higher. I feel like it's... For shining? Yeah, for shining. I think it's like 2,600 yen. Usually the upgrade uh, is closer to 30. Yeah, I think it's higher. It's like 2,600. I feel like I'm higher. 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 Oh, I'm so sorry. It is actually 20 yen lower oh. than 2,200. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. How are you thinking of the uh, assault bundle? Oh, uh, yeah, the two pack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now... Are you guys ready for the next round? It's gonna get a little more uh, tricky. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you're you're, you're fired. fired. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Yo, my eyes. My eyes. <laughs> All right, our next product here is the Common Rider Zero One Thousand oh. Driver. <laughs> now, is this item seven thousand and four hundred Japanese yen? Team Rider, you gotta let me know. Is it higher or lower? Seven. Wait, seven thousand four hundred. It's lower. lower. I just saw him fix I, mean, I, mean, I, 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 I know it's going. I know it's going for lower. Yeah. No, 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 no wait. Are you talking about like retail? The actual, the actual retail price, not not what it's going to put. Retail, retail. But I don't think they'd be selling for lower for lower than MSRP right now because he's still hot right now. So. Mm. I don't know it's lower because I saw listings. Fixoku highlighted that it was yeah. reduced in price. No, 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 no. But what the retail is? The retail. The actual retail. retail. Not not yeah, for the, the what the market price. is going for. Because the market, we know what that is. But. What 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 is the the number again? Seven thousand four hundred Japanese yen. Thousand four hundred. It does it does do less than zero one dollar. So I, uh, I say I, can't, I, I would go with lower too. I say lower. Okay, lower. lower? Yeah. But if it's wrong, it's Anthony's fault. <laughs> I just wanted to quick remind the audience watching at home that this episode is brought to you by Zaya Enterprises, who helped calculate all of our segment prices here, and they've actually priced the Thousand Driver at 109,743 Japanese yen, which if you do the math here, at the time of recording, that is 1,000 US dollars. <laughs> <laughs> He got bamboozled. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, they never stop cheating. <laughs> now, I know that Team Rider typically deals with just common Rider merchandise, so this one might throw you for a little bit more of a loop than expected, but we have the Kishidu Sentai Ryu Soldier DX Ryu Soul Changer. All right, now, Team Rider, you have to tell me, is the price of that DX so cool, Changer? 1,125 Japanese yen, higher or lower? Uh, <laughs> so cool. Yeah. It's higher. It's, it's higher. It's higher. There's no way. It's it's higher. Higher. It has to be higher. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is actually 1125 exactly on the Japanese yen at the time of the recording of this show. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, dang. Oh. Can, we, can we go with the, the, the tax argument? Can I get a lot tax, yeah, tax <laughs> All right, Team Rider, your final item for the show is right here. It is the Common Rider Zero One Big oh. Vinyl Figure. Now, we have it labeled at 800 Japanese yen. So you got to tell me, is it higher or lower? Ooh, seven bucks. Uh, There's no way. I think it's lower than seven bucks. I think, I think it is. Mm -hmm. oh, move, I think it is. I think it, it is 800. You think it is 800? Yeah, I think so. Because I know the Ichiban one is more. Right. It's oh, you think lower? No, lower. Yeah. Lower. Yeah. lower. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll go try that one. You were right. It's all you can. Oh, pressure. 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 <laughs> Pressure. <sighs> Pressure. Hazard level. Nice. Hazard level. <laughs> it's got to be more than 8,000. No, 800. 800. 800. Sorry. Wait, what? Eight, more than 8,000 for sorry, that? 800, 800, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm still scarred by the 1,000 driver. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm just trying to recall, like, when I was in Japan and I was mm. playing those arcade machines, there were boxes like that, gigantic, and, you know, you. Oh, throw in like a hundred yen. Yes, oh. you, you, you spent a thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. yen 
to try to get that to begin with. <laughs> so are we going lower or are we going higher? Lower. Lower? You get you guys say lower, but I'm gonna if if I if I'm right. Three to one lower. Yeah, yeah, lower, lower. The real answer is it is considerably lower because I won this playing a crane game on my phone. Yeah, nice. Mm. Here's the footage of it now. Anyway, that's all that we have for today's episode. Thank you so much, Team Rider, for coming on the show and going home with your uh, winnings, I guess. <laughs> all right, that's all that we have. I'm Squall Marlton, and I have had so much fun today. And don't remember, forget to have your pet spayed or nude. Bye. So done. I'm so I'm so done. I'm so done with this. So you guys, I want to kind of continue on with sort of I don't know. It's so weird to say like Tokusatsu toys is sometimes so personal, like what someone else may really love, you may kind of be like, eh, you know, or vice versa. So what are some of your personal um you know, favorite toys in Tokusatsu. What are like, you know, a dream find for you? Like, if you were just searching Japan and you found this in like a secondhand shop, like, what, what drives you? So, first for, for me, oh, you know, uh, I was gonna say talk about the toy itself, like the, the, the belt, the yeah. driver. Well, so for me, like, I, I, I want to get. The, the at least one belt from every show that I watch. Mm -hmm. So basically, as I finish it. The first thing I do is go on Amazon or go to my local store and go, all right, who has this belt still in stock, you know? And so, uh, you know, I, I want to get those to, to display. But when it comes to like the little gimmicks and stuff, I, I there's three things that I have weakness for. So I love lock seeds a lot because Guy is my favorite show of all time. Um, I really love uh, uh, the uh, ride watches. I, I am one away. I am one away from having all the ones that I care about. Which one are I'm you missing? So I need Tsukiyomi. Oh, okay, okay. Once I have her, then I'm good. I'm not. I'm not getting Gates Majesty. I. I. That's too. <laughs> it's too much. Um, and then, but the one. The one I need everything from is the Progress keys. Mm. I need all of them. <laughs> they're. They're really fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys got you know, the uh, Shining Hopper behind you as well as um, a Strawberry Lock Seed. I chose my yeah. decor right. <laughs> yep. awesome. But uh, my dream find though is I want the full Pandora's box from Build. Like that's what I want. I have one panel. If I can get the other five, all the all the panels, all the bottles. Yeah, all the, all, all of it that has a trigger. I need everything. Yeah. If I if I could find at least Pandora's box, I could like close it up and pretend that I have everything. <laughs> I always had this idea of like getting all that together with all the bottles, and then like you guys have seen The Office, right? Like where Kevin's bringing in his chili. I wanted to do something like that where I drop it and it just goes everywhere and I'm just crying on the floor. <laughs> I imagine that with David when he was telling us about how uh, his suitcase broke and like I just imagine his suitcase breaks and then you could hear all the right watches go off <laughs> right, at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> it, was, it, was pretty, it was pretty embarrassing, but it did get me to skip the entire line boarding on the airplane though. Oh, really? So that, that, was, that was pretty ball. And I'm like, okay, I have a strategy now. Just yeah. buy too much rider stuff and I get on the plane first. <laughs> You're like a noise terrorist. <laughs> right, exactly. Shake it at anybody. <laughs> Bullets! What? <laughs> Ryder doesn't condone the cutting in line. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think for for me, it's really based upon just do I, I do I really like the character? Um, <laughs> hearing David's excitement with Bill, uh, I wanted to rewatch it, and so seeing it is uh, was it. Uh, <laughs> In a, in a weird sense, falling in love with Rogue again, uh, and having to just find his driver and the bottle for like the longest time, and so I only just recently found that, uh, <laughs> and then like seeing that listening for it and tried throwing an offer to it, but then I remembered that that initially didn't go through before on a different listing, so I'm like screw it, just I'm just gonna pay whatever the original listing was uh, and just go with that. Um, so that's I would say that's one item off the list. 
The other one I'm trying to look for right now is uh, Paradox's uh, Double Gasha. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Because uh, after watching, or actually watching that because of Anthony's excitement with that series, um, yeah, I, I fell in love with Paradox as a character because just it, it just clicked. I I have a friend that like literally collects everything. Like he's got all the Pandora boxes, and he's got like literally everything. I have a Discord where he every day posts something new that he spot, and it's always like, where do you a get the money and b the space for all this? You live in L A. Like you have to be running out. Yeah, that's why I keep most of my stuff at my desk here at the office. Are you sure you, you, want, to know, are you, sure you want to know where he gets the money? <laughs> 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 oh, he's gonna watch this and he's gonna start yelling at me. <laughs> he's like, they know your phone's probably gonna blow up right now because of it. Have you guys ever heard of a group called uh, Funhouse? Yes. I used to work for Funhouse. I was um, one of their in-studio um, sort of producers that like helped expedite everything, like on YouTube on Verve. And so I started one by one, like putting more Tokusatsu stuff on my on my desk, <laughs> and they would always come over and just be like, "What the f- is all this?" <laughs> one of the newer guys, I, I have less horror stories of overpaying. You know, the last, starting a couple of years ago, I have the benefit of being able to like, oh, let's go on Mondorake and let's take a look. But I definitely, you know, the first figure I, I bought, I definitely went with what Anthony said of like, I want this, I'm gonna have this. Mm. So the moment I found Grand Cross available, I was like, that's mine. Yeah. Didn't even care, <laughs> didn't even flinch at the money spent. I was like, that is mine. That That's my favorite form for Cross. Cross is my favorite writer. So I was like, no spare, no expense, not a problem. Then I had to ask myself that hard question as a new fan. Am I gonna buy the belt? And I was like, yeah, of course I'm gonna buy the belt. Yeah. <laughs> so it just became like buying up the belt, getting all the add-ons. I do have the uh, Super Galaxy Muscle Bottle. I, I got super lucky when the alert came up on my phone at like three in the morning mm-hmm. and I was looking at them like, all right, what's the pricing? What's the pricing? You were concerned about it too, because it was expensive because you'd have to buy the DVD, DVD with it. Yeah. But then I saw it for 75 and I'm like, oh, that's why <laughs> didn't, didn't think twice on it. I'd, I'd say for me, I definitely am like Ken where I look for things that really resonate with me. So I, I've been pr- I'm probably the pickiest of all when it comes to buying SHF, buying belts in general. But I will spend that money when I see something that I really want. I've bought Shogun ride watches because it was the only way to get yeah. Evolt stuff. Evolt is such a fantastic villain. I had to have anything that makes that laugh. So I, I was glad to do that. Um, probably my number one thing that I'm hunting for is Evolt SHF. I was <laughs> trying to find one and not have to pay 200 bucks, but I'm hitting that point where it's like, next time I see it, I'm just pulling that trigger. Yeah. And, and I think my number two. Going up too. Oh, of yeah. course. Oh, yeah. It'll probably be the Oma Driver is my number two. Do you guys want to see what one of my dream finds was that I got? Thankfully, like when the show was still on. That's true. I don't know how familiar you guys are with Super Sentai at all, but I got the Moe Moe (laughs) Zikun from Akiba Ranger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's there actually a local store here that I think like a few years ago I was looking for a Cuba Ranger stuff and they happened to get that back. So it's just like, yep, just take my credit card and let's go. <laughs> yeah. uh, for me, it's it's like um, like Ken and what Schultz said is um, uh, I, I mainly target my, my collection based off of what I actually really like. So, um, what my you know my all time favorite writer and they will never change is Kamen Rider O's. So um, I I spent the money I spent the money on the on the CSM and the cool thing about spending the money on the CSM was the fact that it came with the the driver and then all the core medals. So I wasn't concerned about now hunting down all the core medals to try to keep that collection. The only thing that um, that I have to do now is collect all the um, the SH figure arts and not the older ones. Uh, luckily, because now I know that Tamashii Nation is going to be producing all of, of the uh, the um, uh, O's forms in uh, Shinkocho, so I'll be collecting all those eventually. Uh, but uh, the uh, for my second favorite uh, series, uh, Kamen Rider X8, I I don't have the driver yet. I eventually will have it because I have. Uh, the gut feeling that eventually we will bring it as well. Uh, so I'll hold off on that. 
but uh, I am tempted on buying the yeah. <laughs> I am tempted on buying the uh, Hyper Muteki set, so because yeah. I just love Hyper Muteki. Um, but the figure arts, though, yeah. I've been collecting every single uh, X8 figure arts. I'm I'm almost completed my X8 uh, or Comrade X8 uh, figure arts series, so that one has been really killing my wallet lately. <laughs> well, you, you have a perfect little shrine for your yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the perfect shrine, but. And and thank and thankfully they announced the Hyper Muteki figure arts too, so I'll be buying several of those. Yes. Um, but you're because you're, you're still missing which one? I'm missing well the the Hyper Muteki Maximum Mighty. I'm missing Laser Level Three. I'm missing I'm missing Laser's Bike Form. Um, uh, I if they ever make it Paradox's uh, individual forms Knockout Fighter and then uh, the uh, uh, Perfect Puzzle uh, is it Perfect Puzzle yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah those forms uh, God <laughs> you know what's it's, the next stage it, it, it's funny stage? so before these guys I used to be solely model kits mm -hmm. and so like when I started getting the like, oh well let me just get the Comrider model kits you know mm. and then you know, like what got me really into to, to want to get a belt was that these guys showed me a ring channel on YouTube it's a guy who takes apart the belts and he paints them mm -hmm. and that really spoke to the the modeler in me I'm like yo I can paint that so like I painted my shot riser this weekend I'm painting my Ziku driver you know so I was like cool I'm just gonna stick to model kits I'm not gonna go down the figure hole and then I saw the SIC Kachidoki Arms Gaim, and it hit me in my soul where I live. <laughs> and I was like, all right, figures, figures aren't that bad. <laughs> and the guys can tell you right now, like, we're, like obviously we buy stuff here from, from, from Bluefin. I have a stack of figures. Downstairs right about now, you have to buy. <laughs> four feet tall, uh, a couple of SICs. Uh, uh, one of the uh, um, what do you call it? The uh, frog robot peoples. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I have I have all the forms of uh, of, du of double uh, from the model kits. But like I it, it, they they I used to be regular. They used to be I used to just be just model kits. And these guys got me onto the figure train. I've ordered like four or five other SHF. So thanks, guys. Yeah. My wallet thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how, like, no matter which kind of sect you come from, it sort of all comes together with, you know, Kamen Rider, Tokusatsu in general. You know what the best thing about the O's uh, CSM driver is? Out of all the other CSM drivers, you can buy it, and it's really cool, but O's is the only and first one where it actually makes you like the rider. You become homeless once you buy it. Because it's really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. There was like a really funny lag there because my computer's kind of been lagging every now and then. So I like said it and there was just nothing. And I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think it was funny. Like, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, thankfully for the CSM Pose driver, it came with everything. Like, I could care less about the. The uh, what's it the no, the, you, the, the Poseidon? Uh, but you do want the metal holder. You still need a metal, metal holder. holder. Okay, fine, but it's it's in that little box though. So it's, it's. I miss the day and age like where like when they put out Kuga CSM, they had uh, like his cell phone that came with it, like all these fun like little like tie-ins to the show that I was really hoping when they announced it that there would be a pair of underpants in it. <laughs> Well, that is pretty much all the time that we have left on the show. Team Rider, I want to thank you guys so much for taking some time and coming on the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun. So, you guys, we will be here, same place, same time, on Let's Talk Toku. We will see you all next episode. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Awesome. Ciao.